Hi, welcome back to my mom's channel, Planning with Bumble. I'm Allie, her daughter. You've probably seen my hands, at least in some of her videos. Um, so I did this spread that you're about to see next. It's a recipe <laughs> spread. Um, yeah, so you're gonna see a recipe spread. It's a bottoms up one, get excited. So uh, keep watching if you wanna see that. <laughs> Look. That means you leave. Bye. Hi, it's me, Allie, again, and I'm going to be making another recipe spread. If we actually look back here, I'm pretty sure this was the one that I've done before, which I was not a huge fan of, but it was the frozen whiskey sours. So I'm also going to be making another drink today, and it is going to be, drumroll please, Aperol Spritzes. So I don't know, I didn't hear about this, but you, you guys might have, it is Aperol which is just an orange liquor, I guess. Seltzer, champagne, ice, and an orange slice. So, just like before, I'm going to be creating, like how I made this one, kind of made out of scrap scraps. I'm gonna be doing that with this again. So, I'm just gonna be using um, this page from the book I just showed you. But I'm just gonna measure it and cut it and I'm going to be using this behind me which is just a scrap of paper that we had but I chose this one because it has the colors of because the Aperol Spritz is orange it's just like a bright orange so I'm going to see how I feel about this because I don't want this to be overpowering but what I'm going to start with now actually I'm going to punch this All right it always looks so good after you punch it all right, so first I'm going to start, and I'm actually going to draw a um, a wine glass, because that's how, what you drink it out of, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to look through my mom's doodles to see if she has, because I think she has some type of wine glass or champagne glass. Oh, there it is. There's her champagne glass. Did she have a wine one? Oh, there's a martini glass. Because my thing is I'm kind of stuck on how to draw the bottom part, so I'll probably do it. We'll look at the martini glass for it. All right, so, well, another thing is I need to make sure that I know the size of this paper roughly. So my plan is to sort of have, like, a wine glass across the whole thing. So I'm going to start up in the corner... What I'm going to also be adding is an orange because they have orange slices like this kind of hanging off the side. But I'm going to wait to add that because I'm going to do that on a different piece of paper. All right, so I'm going to cut this out. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to glue this down in the middle. And I'm going to add, I think what I'm going to do is add orange paper as the liquid just to kind of add like texture to it to add another layer once we glue it it'll look like that which actually looks pretty cool with this in the background so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the aperol drink part so i have these two oranges and i liked the brighter one because i'll be able to see the word a little better but with this background i'm kind of thinking the dark one mom mother i got a question what one should come look a little closer? What one should be the Aperol spritz? Like the actual cup and size going to have which arm? We need something in between the two. I know. Because <laughs> this is too bright for the background. I think probably this one, even okay. though I, I like I think probably this one. Okay, I'll try it out. Thanks. So, now I'm going to do this again. And kind of just trace it roughly. 
so that I can figure out where I want the orange to be. So the top part, I'm not going to cut. I think I'm going to rip it to kind of just have that effect to it. But I still want a white outline. So I want to go like... I'm just going to go all the way to the top. And then we'll try ripping it. And I actually got this idea, just the part where you add that excess on the outside for my mom's drawings. Her champagne in here, she like add the glass, I like how you can see the glass rim, I think that's pretty cool. Okay. So now, so see when we put this down, see what it looks like. I kind of wish the yellow was up top, but in a sense it almost looks like it's like spilling out, which I think was kind of cool. Alright, so it'll look something like this, but now I just, I'm going to rip the top. Alright, that kind of, that works. It looks like just the cup. I mean, the drink in it. So we're going to try that. We're going to glue that down. So this one is pen glue stick from this company. It came from Coco Daisy, but I don't oh, know what it is. from Coco Daisy, but we're not really sure. But it works well, so. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's a glue stick. Yeah, it's cool. Alright, so it almost looks like clear chapstick, but... Just rub it around. <clears throat> this actually goes on really nicely. So supposedly, like the last one, I used Elmer's glue, but supposedly you're not supposed to because that can cause it to curl. So don't do that. All right, I'm gonna stick it on. Like so. Cool, cool. So the other thing I was thinking, which I'm gonna wait till the end, I'm gonna glue this guy down now though, I think. But is, am I gonna do a black outline around this? Because here you can see it really well, but here it's a little, a little less. Okay, but first I think I'm gonna start, I'm, I'm gonna glue her down. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go for it. All right, so now we're gonna do something like, there we go. Oh, that's looking cool, okay. Because this one I was actually prepared. I thought of something ahead of time because I normally just go for it. But my mom told me my videos are getting too long. So, <laughs> and I don't like talking for that long. Okay. So, <clears throat> next, I actually, I'm, I'm probably going to wait to this, but I'm still going to add an orange on the rim. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. So, we've got this, which so far so good. It, it's pretty cool. It's all right. You know, whatever. So, but now I need the ingredients and I need... Well, I guess with these, you only really need the ingredients because then you just mix it together. So I'm thinking, am I going to put it here, up here? So the word Aperol Spritz, I think I'm going to put right in the middle. I mean, now that I think about it, if I put it big here, that could be nice. But I feel like it would look cool on here. Time for advice. Mom, mm -hmm. one more thing of advice. Should I put the Aperol Spritz in here because I liked that idea? Or do I put it big up here in the white? I kind of like it on here. You like it on here? Yeah. Okay. Just because this turned out smaller than I wanted it. I want it to be like a little bigger, like fatter. What if you outline the glass in so, like in black? Like black. Okay, that's what I said. I said I was going to wait to check it because I like how you can see the white here, but I you like can't that see too, it but like yeah, down here. On the other side, it's a little mm. blank. Cool. Great minds think alike, huh? Did you like how I ripped it? I love it. I thought that was so cool. Cute. All right. that works and then depending on how I feel I might do like a little like bubble kind of going up the side but I want to make sure that that's not gonna be too much all right so in my head my idea was to put the things you'll need down here but since this is a nice ooh, actually I think I am gonna put it down here I'm gonna add the orange and then I might add like stickers up here of some sort or something oh so this is Heather Kell's box which I think is so so cute I, lo I love the colors um but I was thinking if there was anything that would go with this, but is yellow gonna be too, mom, is this too, sorry, is this too bright and obnoxious? Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. What? Is that too bright? No, it's to cute. To put like right there? I think it's cute. Cause this is a good size. It's cute, I like it. Should I just put it straight? Yeah. Well, do what you want, I guess. Right? Well, I don't know, I get nervous. I know. <laughs> it's so straight. Okay, we're doing it. Now going back. But what I think I'm going to do is 
Do you have white sticker paper? Oh, I guess I can just use this. Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have white sticker paper. Well, I guess I can just glue this down on top, right? Sorry, I'll stop distracting you. She's working on a video right now. I'm distracting her. All right, and I can't see through it. What I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to go hold this up to a window so I can trace the black part. All right, so I just did the little corners, and I'm going to use... Oh, bumble. I'm going to sit. Oh, come here, girl. Say hi. Say hi. It. it's not the prettiest but we're gonna keep it at that and just glue that down and then I'll go over it with a black line maybe I'll do dots maybe I'll do stripes I don't know so we're gonna take the cocoa daisy glue again which I still think is so neat it's such an easy way to to glue and it's clear which of course is good for drying purposes oh. all right now we're gonna try to, to get this the best thing I can. All right, not super straight, but, and not really as much yellow as I wanted, but that, that's not too bad. All right, so we've got that. So I guess I can write the ingredients down. All right, it's off-centered a little bit, but better than nothing here. All right, so now I'm gonna write the ingredients. So you're gonna need one part Aperol, one part champagne, one part seltzer, an orange slice and a handful of ice so obviously you probably know if I say one part it's just it's all in third so a third of this a third of that a third of this so I'm gonna write that down and while I do I guess I can tell your story or my mom will fast forward we'll see which one but the first time I had Aperol spritzes actually I don't think I can talk about a story when I'm writing I don't know if I can. we'll talk about that a little bit later again all right I'm gonna write this and hopefully this will be fast forwarded So now that's pretty much all it is and then you put them together so I don't really need to say that so up here this is when I'm gonna add stickers um so I need to find some stickers or maybe some oranges something fun maybe confetti I don't know but I think I'm gonna start with this orange slice all right so what I'm going to do for the orange is I'm going to create my own so I need to figure out the sizing that I want so I'm kind of just, I'm just feeling the edge of, as to where the edge is. And I'm gonna draw with an orange slice. Perfect, so it's gonna look like that. Oh my gosh, how cute. Okay, cute. So now I'm gonna go in and add those little triangles. Actually, I need to see it like so all right so um i mean i guess i can glue this uh before i do i'm gonna color it in so i'm gonna use this color pencil i think this is a color one yeah it's a prima the sorry the prisma color So when you do make the Aperol spritzes, it's going to be an extremely bright color. It also depends on if you like more Aperol or not. So I like more champagne in mine because I'm a champagne fan, but my grandma, she likes a lot of Aperol, so um, hers are really, really bright orange. And I think that's how it's supposed to be. But they're really cool. And they're good. They're and I don't even know how to describe the taste of them. I guess they're an orangey taste, but I'm not really sure. I actually, fun fact, I, we had them for the first time the other day. We had like kind of like a girls night and we played games and did all that. And then I started to feel kind of sick towards the end. And I was like, eh, it's probably just drinking a bunch of these, you know, like the sugars or whatever. It turns out I had a stomach flu and was throwing up orange all night. Lucky me. It was so fun. So... I mean, I don't know if I'll ever drink an Aperol spritz again because you know after you drink something or eat something and then you get sick 
right after it. It's just the food or that drink to you is just, ugh. So we'll see. Anyways, so we're gonna glue this sucker down. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm gonna look through some stickers and I wanna add some stickers up here. Or I can even add something else, like something else that, I don't know, like a quote or something. What I'm probably going to write is um, up here, I thought maybe I could write like one sip, two sip, three sip, floor. But I mean, they're not that strong, but yeah, wouldn't hurt. All right, so I think I'm going to start that. I might just go for it. Okay, actually, I'm gonna add the oranges first. I was thinking I was just gonna do that first, but I'm gonna do the oranges and kind of go around it. I think I kind of want the oranges to like border in a way. And even though I like the green on these, maybe we'll do both, but I kind of like how these are just simple and, and easy. I'm just gonna start up there and kind of go for it. And then, oh, you know what I can add? Where did I see those that confetti? Oh, that was in this one. I'll add those little, like, these guys, which I guess they're on that page too. These little, like, stars. I think that they're cute to add in somewhere. Just kind of, you know, spice it up or whatever. So I'm just going to add a bunch of these. Saying this, this one's in essential planning 1009. Uh oh, do we have any more oranges or is that it? Because this one's kind of big. And then we're gonna add some more of these little guys. I don't want like too, too much, but I still want to kind of fill up some more room. And do I keep it just on that side? Now I'm like, hmm, do I keep We're gonna cut this guy in half. It's not half, but that'll do. And kind of just act like it's on top. Oh, see, that's kind of cute. Maybe I'll do that up here too. With this half. Ah. Oh, well, that's. This guy's crooked up because we need to do another one. And, and I'm going to cut kind of like a curve on it to go with the, so it is getting very busy over here and not busy enough on the other side, but since this does have the watercolor, I'm hoping when I add all like all the black, it might be okay, but maybe I'll add some of these over there. I just don't know if you'll see them. So I'm just kind of placing these in spots that could use a little something. Actually, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna outline this. Do I do it? Do I do it? Yes, okay. So now I'm almost thinking I wanna outline this, but just the bottom part, but I'm gonna wait on that because I don't wanna do that not like it. But I was gonna outline here, which I'm also gonna wait. Okay, I'm just going to start on the words. And the one thing about working with markers is because I'm a lefty, I, you know, you smear and it's really, really annoying. All right, so now I'm going to do 
this right here and I'm going to do it in the pen so it's like thinner. But the you'll need part, I'm going to do it in a marker. I'm pretty much almost done what I want to do is I think I am gonna outline this at least down here and I'm going back but not the top part I'm, I'm not really sure how I feel about that but and then I'm just gonna add little it's little like bubblies to kind of show that it is fizzy and <clears throat> oh, I was gonna fix down here. I'm just gonna do kind of just a little. I'm just, actually I think I'm gonna do a straight line. I was gonna do a squiggle, but I feel like I have kind of too much going on on the other side, so I kind of want to keep this. I'm gonna try to keep this as straight as I can. Now. All right. And again, I was going to do black around this, but I might not now. I'm going to check with my mom really quick if she thinks I should add anything else. Mother. It got a little crazy oh, on this side. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, but it got kind of crazy on this side. No, 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 I love it. Because of the watercolor, it's okay. Yeah. And should I outline the top? I outlined the bottom, but not the top. I like it not outlined. Okay. okay. And I was going to do a shine up here, but I did shine down there. Should I not do one up here? I mean, you can. I don't know. Do that. Oh, oh unless you do add these. Yeah. What are they? Oh. I don't know. They're on they're one stickers. of the stickers. Oh, cute. Oh, yeah, they're stickers. You're so good at that. And then that's just a little shine. Um, I guess that'll be it. It doesn't need to be any more crazy than it already is. I'm just going to go through and erase all of the pencil marks because I am not skilled enough to do it without pencil marks. All right. We're just going to leave it at that. Um, so, yeah, that's my Aperol Spritz, whatever it's called, recipe page. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely, oh, one more thing. I like this one because I thought it was neat. I really liked, I, my favorite part was probably adding the rip, how it turned out really well. But, sorry I wasn't as, um, I didn't have any jokes or all that this time. I, my mom told me I have to make them shorter, and I tried, and I think that this might have been my longest one because I took my time but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you try this out because I mean it's the most simple recipe you can find it anywhere but it is very tasty and you always have a good time so enjoy and I hope everyone has a great weekend um I don't think I have a joke this time um no I used up all mine I have like four solid ones and that's it gotta work on that but um, like and subscribe, comment down below, whatever you please. Um, and I do appreciate everyone's comments on my other video. I never watch my videos because I don't like hearing my voice. But my mom told me that you guys wrote really nice things and I've seen them. So I appreciate it. And yeah, thank you. So keep watching to see the doodle of the day.